Animals are a big part of our world. I guess I'm just one among many. Not all animals people talk about are real, like the dragon. In China, the dragon is very important. It is a symbol of strength and goodness. He also represents the spirit of change. Depending on what he wants, he can be seen or be invisible. He can become as small as a worm or large as the sky. The Chinese call themselves the children of the dragon. Today, the dragon symbolizes the entire Chinese nation. What about you? Can you create a mythical animal? If I could make up any animal, it would be a flying and talking leopard that I could ride. It would also be tame. If it were to fly upside down, I would clutch onto it with its stomach. I would ride my animal and go to like places um, because it could go to imaginary places. I would go to um, the places in the book in the books I've read. My parents would would take out an extra blanket for it to sleep on because um, in a in a forest or a jungle or a rainforest, um, a leopard um, a leopard doesn't have such a soft place to sleep on. I would name my animal Arrow. Now that's a great story. Hmm, what other mythical animals are there? The unicorn. This mythical animal looks like a horse with a long spiral horn right in the middle of its forehead. The horn was thought to have magical powers, like taking poisons out of rivers and bringing dead people back to life. Today, this animal symbolizes purity and love. So, whether it's a dragon, a flying leopard, or a unicorn, people all over the world love the magic and power of mythical animals. What about you?